Located just west of the campus flagpole is a plaque commemorating one of the university's more famous alumni, Francis Julius Bellamy. The location of this plaque is telling, as Francis Bellamy earned his fame by composing the Pledge of Allegiance in 1892. Bellamy has been described as the University of Rochester's most quoted alumnus. Francis Bellamy was born in 1855 in Mount Morris, New York. When he was four, his family moved to Rome, New York. Bellamy entered the university in 1872 and was a member of Alpha Delta Phi. After graduating in 1876, Bellamy followed his father into the ministry, entering the Rochester Theological Seminary and serving for 11 years as a Baptist minister. In 1891, Bellamy left the ministry and joined the editorial department of the Youth's Companion, the most successful family magazine of the time. Bellamy's new boss at the Youth's Companion, James Bailey Upham, was deeply concerned that patriotism was on a decline. Upham felt that the flag was the symbol that could best rally a renewed love of country, especially among schoolchildren, and his dream was to see the flag flying over every schoolhouse in America. The 400th anniversary of Columbus's voyage provided the opportunity to develop Upham's plan for a simultaneous and appropriate celebration in every public school in the United States. With the endorsement of both Congress and President Benjamin Harrison, Bellamy was put in charge of developing the celebration and he wrote the pledge for children to recite as part of the event. A copy of the letter from President Harrison is now in the U of R Library Archive. Bellamy's original pledge consisted of only 23 words. I pledge allegiance to my flag and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Francis Bellamy first heard it recited on Columbus Day in 1892, according to a letter he wrote years later to his 10-year-old grandson, when 4,000 high school boys in Boston roared it out in unison. More than half of the 120,000 public schools in the country participated in the National Public School Celebration. Bellamy said that the Companion's campaign in 1892 to promote this Columbus Day national celebration was the first national campaign to combine modern public relations and publicity techniques with national advertising. Bellamy worked in advertising as an account executive and copywriter and helped usher in the Madison Avenue style of advertising we know today. In fact, even after retiring to Tampa, Florida, he continued working in advertising up to the year of his death in 1931. He is buried in Rome, New York, in a family plot. The pledge has become a living document, with official changes to it every 30 years or so since its inception. In 1923, My Flag was changed to the flag of the United States of America, and in a 1954 Act of Congress, the phrase Under God was added. The pledge has been a source of controversy in court battles over the years, including debates over who actually wrote it. It was not until 1957 that the Library of Congress officially confirmed that it was indeed written by Francis Bellamy, who remains Rochester's most quoted alumnus. <laughs>